I was engaged at 19. Emotional pain is much harder to get over and to deal with because it's not something you could just fix with a band-aid or it's just it heals over time. My standards are so much higher. Now you should follow suit and just get to the back. People gonna talk either good or it's bad. I see people gonna talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back to the Empress Kina Show. Today is just a little story time. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna tell you guys about when I was engaged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a real thing. If you really know me, you'll know that I was engaged at 19, but you probably don't know the full story. Let's just start about how I met the person that I was engaged to. I was a senior in high school. I started working at a restaurant right up the street from my house and he was the manager. You know, I used to go to the restaurant a lot and I would see him there and I always thought he was so Fine, but I knew he was older than me, so I never even thought to even trying. Anyway, I started working there. We would always flirt and stuff. You know, he thought I was cute. I thought he was cute. It was obvious that we were attracted to each other. I met him. I was 17. He was 21, going on 22. Clearly grown, right? And you know, when you work with somebody, you spend a lot of time with them. You get to know them. Sometimes we would be at the store together just by ourselves. I just remember this one time we ended up just talking for hours during one of our shifts, and we talked about everything. I talked about my love life. He told me about his love life. That's when he realized, you know, he was kind of feeling me. I was already feeling him. You know what I'm saying? So from that point on, we started flirting a little bit harder. And I think things went on like that. And it said flirting for like a few months after our first little conversation. And then he finally told me that he liked me or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I like you too. Anywho, we start, you know, talking on the phone. And one time we hung out, I had got suspended from school. And it was real cute. And I think we kissed. We've been talking for some months now. He told me he loved me. And I like knew that I loved him, but I had never loved anybody before. So I was confused like about how I felt. But I didn't know if it was love or not. Cause I'm like, is this love? Oh, but he knew he loved me. And then by the summertime, we was dating a full-blown relationship. Everything went cool at first. We hung out like every day. We was always together. We was going on cute dates. He was posting me all on his Instagram. I was posting him all on my Instagram. We cute, cute, honeymoon, lovey dovey. Did I mention he had a child? Um, that was also a big thing. I honestly played him to the left for so long because I knew I was about to go to college. He was an older guy with a child. That was a lot to deal with as just a young girl who ain't never for real dated nobody seriously. Baby mama didn't like me. Then I ended up going away to school and I mean I'm just living my life we talking every day we FaceTiming every day everything's cool to my knowledge the first time I come home it was like in October and I hadn't been home since August we was hanging out that was the first time I saw him since I had got back home he was showing me some video on his phone or something like that we started swiping and we swiped to this other video and it's a sex video so I'm looking at it but I can't see nobody's face I can just see this is graphic I just see ass coming back to the screen like that's all i see so i'm looking i'm like what so he swiped fast real quick like trying to hurry up and play it up so i'm like no nah, go back to that what was that of course he not trying to go back so i'm like that's your tattoo oh so he was like yeah that's old so then I was like, let me see it real quick one more time. And he was like, why? And I was like, I just want to see it. So he get, hands me the phone. So he's like, what you doing? I was like, I'm about to send this video to myself so I can see the timestamp. So then he snatched the phone and he was like, no. So I'm like, what? So we going back and forth, we going back and forth. So after like maybe a minute of us going back and forth, I realized he didn't want to tell me the truth and he was hiding something from me. So I sit there for a minute and I don't say nothing to him. So then he just was like, okay, I'm gonna tell you I had sex with my baby mama, blah, 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 blah. But it never happened again. I'm sorry, I was gonna tell you, but woo, 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 woo. Try to just hurry up and rush through the apology. Like, like I'm gonna just sit there and be like, okay, it'll never happen again. And honestly, that was the first time I ever had my heart broken because like I said, I was young. I had never been in love with somebody before him. Like I was so naive. I honestly did not think he was capable of cheating on me. Known each other almost a year before we started dating. The way our relationship developed from a friendship all the way down to a relationship. Me, I'm thinking I really know this person. I mean, at the end of the day, they all just men. And we was watching a movie, and I just continued to watch the movie, and I did not look him in his face, did not say nothing to him. I just kept staring. He's talking to me, trying to rub my hand. I'm swiping my hand away. I'm just being real dismissive. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you right now. And when I get angry, I react. I was enraged. I wanted to kill him. At the same time, I wanted to cry. So long story short, he get in my face, like, please talk to me, please talk to me. I start crying. He starts crying. I break up with him. I go back to school. We ended up getting back together. You know how that story goes. Then it just became a cycle over and over again go through his phone find out he was cheating and we would break up and then somehow we would get back together and that cycle might have happened two or three times in my first year away at school and that's just all of that I found out about you know what I mean we broke up for like a summer we got back together at the end of the summer and that's how we got engaged we plan to get a place together we wasn't gonna get married right away wait till I finished school but we had spent the summer apart so we was just like I'm in so in love with you I don't know what to be with nobody else but you I don't want to spend no more time apart like, we get engaged and at this point he had discovered he had another child she was a different baby mama but she didn't tell him 
that the baby was born until after the baby was born. Me and him had already been dating at this point. But anywho, now I'm dealing with a man with two kids that has cheated on me multiple times. And what my dumb ass do? Accept the engagement. Because I was in love. Oh my God. Nobody can tell me anything about him. He was going to move out of state for me and live with me. And we was in a process of getting our apartment and stuff together. Then divine intervention is truly a blessing because it didn't end up working out for him to move down with me. And mind you, this whole time I'm still at school. I'm still a student. By this time, I'm a sophomore. We've been dating a couple years. I think maybe second semester of my sophomore year, I started noticing a difference between our communication. What happened was he started hanging out with his second baby mama. So I started getting a hunch. I'm like, so your baby mama always over there. Your old baby mama didn't used to be at your house. Why is your new baby mama at your house all the time? I'm confused. He like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not like that. She's just coming over here because this, this. It was always an excuse as to why she was always over there. But he, he swore up and down to me, y'all, that he was not cheating, right? I knew that he was lying, but at the same time, I didn't want to believe it because he was telling me one thing. I had no proof any other way. So then I came back home after my sophomore year was over. Mind you, I had already been suspected some stuff was going on. And she ended up coming over that day and I came back home. So I'm like, so she just be over here every day? I'm starting to peep and piece little stuff together. So I'm confused because I'm like, why is she here? Then they started play fighting. I was looking at everything. I'm like, so they having sex, cool. So now my mind, I'm already like processing everything, but this is like the first day that I'm being around him and I'm around them together and I'm seeing everything for myself. But I just didn't know how to speak on it just yet. The universe will force your hand. If you wait too long, just spoke on it right then and there and left, but I didn't. Sat there, chill, waited till everybody left, waited till she left, and then I'm thinking, you know, this gonna be a great night with my man, whatever, no. We in a bed, and this at nighttime, he's getting ready to go to sleep. She walks in the house, she come in the room, put the baby in the bed, and goes back downstairs to the like living room area. So y'all play house. She was on the phone, loud. She was clearly drunk too. He goes and tells her, no, nah, you don't gotta sleep downstairs. You can come sleep in the bed with us. Yeah, he told her she could sleep in the bed with us. So she climbed in the bed with us. I sat in the bed with him, the baby, the baby mama. And I literally just sat there like, I noticed and I just, he's openly cheating on me. Thinking I don't know a damn thing that's going on. Maybe he just didn't give a damn. Maybe he was just caught off guard and didn't know how this was gonna work out. Who knows? I had seen it all. I politely called my Uber. I said, I guess to be a So they sleeping, right? I grab all my stuff, tap him, I say, I'm finna go. And I walk out the door. He run up out of bed, come down the stairs. And I'm standing at the door waiting for my Uber. So he like, where are you going? What is what's happening? What are you, why are you leaving? You mad cause they here? I was like, what? You think I'm mad because your child is here and the baby mom is here? No, I'm mad because you think I'm dumb. I'm mad because you disrespectful. Not only are you cheating on me again, but you allowed it to blow up in my face, which is my fault. I should have known better. You know, you live and you learn. He, I didn't even know she was coming. It's not even like that. She drunk. What's she supposed to do? Go all the way home drunk. I can't let her drive home with my baby like that. He tried to make it seem like he was just saving her life. I was just like, I'm ready to go. I don't want to be here. Well, just let me take you home. So he takes me home. Oh, wait. I'm arguing with him. I'm yelling at him. And he not saying nothing. I give him an ultimatum. I'm like, I don't like what's going on. You're lying to me. If you want to continue to have a relationship with me you need to cut off communication with her unless it's about that baby he told me that wasn't an option long well, story short we break up that night he does not chase me at that point he was just like over it and that whole summer i had been trying to convince him to just at least talk to me he had cut me like clean oh just completely cut me off wasn't talking to me wasn't answering my phone calls wasn't answering my text messages i was just like wow well, so you cheat on me i break up with you and then you just gonna let me break up with you that's not the cycle you're supposed to get back together with me so i was very heartbroken because i'm like i cannot stay in this relationship i'm better than this i deserve better than this he not even trying to get me back but what am i going back to when i first transferred me and him had just broken up like my brain wasn't on dating my brain wasn't on being you know intimate with anybody my brain was just like oh that was a lot those last couple years years dating that man let's just take a break let's just regroup and honestly i went through a whole phase of celibacy i did not do anything with a male for almost a year because i was just so hurt and i just needed to heal myself so i just focused on myself i got involved on campus i met new friends i partied i had a great time it was just a very healing year i've been single ever since and i've talked to people kind of dated around a little bit but nothing serious you know the relationship wasn't 100 a bad relationship we were genuinely friends and we actually got together recently a month ago for the first time since we broke up that was the first time I had seen him in person since then and that was four years ago had lunch caught up everything was cool normal he still want to be with me y'all but of course like why wouldn't you and now he got three kids and one on the way I'm always have love for him I'm always care about him simply because he taught me so much about love. Before him, I didn't know how to love. I didn't even know how to give love. I didn't know how to just be open and vulnerable with somebody. I was very much so closed off when it came to my heart. Probably because my parents are divorced, so I never really saw 
a real relationship growing up that worked out. I think a part of that scares me a little bit. I don't want to end up divorced. I don't want to end up with baby daddy drama. That's not what I want for myself. I learned so much about myself through that relationship. I learned what I deserve. I learned what I do not deserve, most importantly. And I learned that no matter what, when people show you who they are, you have to take them for who they show you to be. When he showed me who he was the first time, when he cheated on me and did not tell me, I had to find out because I'm scrolling through his phone and he attempted to lie about it first and then told the truth. Like, he showed me who he was. He showed me that he was not honest. He showed me that he was immature and he showed me that he wasn't ready to be committed to somebody. He showed me all these things pretty early in our relationship and I chose not to see those things or I chose to believe the words instead of the actions. Never again will I fall victim to a game. I learned the game the hard way. Because I learned the game the hard way, I will not allow myself to be played. I will not allow myself to be in a relationship with somebody that I don't trust. Needless to say, I learned a lot. I think it's necessary for everybody to get their heart broken in order, in order to appreciate and understand the depth of love. When somebody can take you to a point that's so low where you just feel broken because you love them that much and you have to, and you're forced to build yourself back up after that, you, re, you rejuvenate. You return like a phoenix out of the ashes and you're stronger than before because now you have withstood something that is deeper than just physical pain it's emotional pain emotional pain is much harder to get over and to deal with because it's not something you could just fix with a band-aid or it's just it heals over time my standards are so much higher i've set the bar so much higher for myself and i refuse to settle for anything less than i know that i deserve and until i get that i'm cooling by myself single living my life until somebody can step to me and let me know this is how i feel about you this is what i want for myself this is where i see you in my future and i want to be a part of your world and your future i'm cooling part two of this video is coming out soon where i tell you what happened when we met up with each other i tell you how that went how that came up about what that conversation went like. So if you want to see part two, stay tuned. See you guys later.